Coming up on NFL Total Access, Packers linebacker Preston Smith joins us live as our NFC North Division preview kicks off in title town. And speaking of titles, is the biggest hurdle for Patrick Mahomes to repeat Joe Burrow? And is Casey and Cincinnati the best rivalry in the NFL? Plus, Dak Prescott was tied for the league lead in interceptions last season. What is he doing to bring that number down? Find out what will have Dallas fans everywhere saying this about number four. It's really unfair. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. Still one of my all-time favorite press conferences, and that's what we do here at NFL Network in the summer months. We send emails to each other about our favorite quotes. More on those press conferences coming up in just a little bit. It's a brand new edition of NFL Total Access. I'm Mike Am. Hope all the dads out there had a great Father's Day, and of course, happy June t Juneteenth. Shortly joining me, Michael Robinson, Cam Wolf, and Jane Slater, but we start with the Dallas Cowboys, who concluded their mandatory minicamp last week. And as the players head home for the summer, Mike McCarthy has signed some summer reading as he installs his offense in preparation for calling plays for the first time since 2018. But keep in mind some of the numbers here as it pertains to his quarterback, Dak Prescott. 15 interceptions despite missing five games last year. Those 15 picks tied for first in the league. Michael Robinson, Jane Slater, fresh off a surfboard. More on that in just a little bit. Uh, join me now, Jane. Dak Prescott, what's he working on this offseason to make sure that he's reducing the amount of interceptions this upcoming season? Well, communication has been the big buzzword around that building, Mike, and that's because if you talk to the wide receivers and you talk to Dak, they weren't always on the same page. We're also under this understanding that the Cowboys are redoing the playbook, not completely complete overhaul, but we keep being told it's going to be more of a West Coast offense, which was interesting to me because I kept hearing people around the building talk about the speed. That's why you went out and got Brandon Cooks. So West Coast offense and speed don't necessarily go hand in hand. So then when I pressed Dak Prescott on that, he talked about how the quarterbacks themselves had renamed this the Texas Coast offense. In other words, it's got West Coast elements but they think there's parts of this new playbook that maybe we haven't necessarily seen out there. So we're going to have to wait for training camp to get a real sense of what Mike McCarthy is calling. But I think in order to play down those interceptions, we've got to get them on the same page communication-wise. And I, the reason why I don't think anyone in that building is too overly concerned, Mike Rob, is if you look at his interception percentage last season, it was 3.8. The year before that, 1.7. And the numbers were very similar to that. So it's not like they think there's necessarily a pattern here, but there was an issue communicating with some of his wide receivers. And so CeeDee Lamb has really kind of stepped up into that number one role now. It took him a little bit to do that. And I think having a veteran wide receiver in there like Brandon Cook should certainly help. Jane, you're absolutely correct. And you talk about communication. You can see it all over the tape. Other than communication, you also need to be able to run the football. Now, they were top 10 last year. They ran the ball for about 135 yards, something along those lines. But this team needs to be in 140, 145 yards per game rushing the football and moving the line of scrimmage and leaning on that offensive line. And then that allows uh, Dak Prescott to be special Dak in special situations. So you limit the opportunity to have all of those communication issues that, he's, that he had with C.D. Lamb and some of the guys on the outside. But, Jane, to your point, there was some communication issues. And, of course, you know what real Mike Rob like to do. I like to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about on tape, on film, in live action, as you can see right here. Now, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, they, the communication was on whether the middle of the field is closed or not, right? C.D. Lamb sees the middle of the field open, so he tries to take the middle of the field. Dak tries to lead him, but it, at the end of the day, the middle of the field was closed and the ball gets picked off. You see right here, another middle of the field read. These are basic reads between quarterbacks and wide receivers, as you can see right there, Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb not being on the same page. But on those plays, one thing that you did not see was any other wide receiver stretching the defense on the outside. 
That's why I think when you bring a guy like Brandon Cooks in with all that speed, that's going to change this offense, not only in the run game and create some space for Tony Pollard and his offensive line to, to operate, but it's also going to clear up the reads for Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, so those communication issues should be um, a little, should go away to some degree. Yeah, I think Dallas fans uh, certainly hope some of those takeaways or, or giveaways, I should say, are not present. 32 since 2021 for Dak Prescott's hot for the fifth most in the NFL. Jane, always uh, great to have you on the show with us. Get back on that surfboard. Um, you, Baldy, at some point, social media, we'll make it, we'll make it happen down, down the road.